Hi YouTube, it's Molly, and today I'm here for my week 40 post-op VSG update. Um, so we're just getting, getting into the numbers. That's my email. It's going to make obnoxious noises. Close. Um, so today I weighed in at 214.6, which is a 1.6 pound loss for this week, putting me at a total loss of 145.4. Um, so yay, I lost weight. I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I'm going to attribute most of that to um, Maddie coming up to see me because uh, he was up here three days this week. So I ate incredibly healthy just because I kind of like took this hiatus from school and acted like I had nothing to do, which was so far from the truth. Um, but in that sense, I was cooking all of my own meals. I wasn't like running around on campus making excuses for eating crappy, like, oh, it's healthy food. No, it's probably chicken covered in grease, but we're going to eat it anyways and call it protein kind of stuff that I've been doing lately. Um, so like in that sense, eating healthy was much easier. Um, we ate a couple things that were off, but like not crazy. Like uh, the first time he was here, we had like black bean pasta with uh, turkey meatballs and Alfredo sauce and sugar snap peas and I made garlic bread on lavish bread. Um, so that was all like fabulous. Um, incredibly low carb. And then um, I made like mocha protein pancakes for breakfast the one day and like eggs and chicken sausage for breakfast the other day and uh, what did we have for dinner? Oh, I made pizza on flat outs. Um, had like a tuna melt kind of thing. So like point being, I ate really well. Um, the only thing that was kind of like bad carby was um, some tortilla chips because uh, I used having him here as an excuse to go get guacamole at this place in Worcester that makes like the most fabulous guacamole I've ever had in my life. And now that I've had it, I can't eat it anyplace else. But um, you get so much of it that I can't buy it for just me because it goes bad way too quickly for me to consume like... I don't know, like probably four or five avocados worth of guacamole. Um, so having him here was an excuse to go get that. So I kind of had some tortilla chips with that. But um, really, uh, those three days were definitely like cleaner than uh, what some of the things I've been grabbing on campus here and there has, you know, caused lately. So um, you know, eating definitely for those three days was much better, and even the rest of the week was better. Um, and then also when he was up here, we, I wouldn't say a lot, but we, we did get hiking in and, you know, in that sense I was more active than I had been. Um, my back has been bothering me for the past couple of weeks and definitely it didn't go unnoticed for him. So there, like, a lot of our hikes were cut short by him uh, being like, okay, you clearly need to stop and stop trying to hide it from me. I know it's hurting you. Let's turn back. Um, so, and as much as I, like, really wanted to push on at the same time, I knew he was right. And even, you know, that being said, now, um, even with all of the times he was like, all right, we're being done now, uh, I still definitely injured it more because it's gone from, um, like, oh, it's irritating me to, like, oh, I can barely walk. So, now I definitely am not going to be at the gym anytime soon. <sighs> which is really disappointing because I need to train. Um, I've signed up for one 5K. I'm signing up for two others that I know of. Uh, I just haven't signed up yet because they're not open for registration yet. And then I'm also already signed up um, for half marathon this summer. And it's like, I really want to be training for them. Um, and like the past couple of weeks, yes, the time thing, but also like my back irritating me has been part of it. Now it's like back says no. Like it's not like, I can kind of use it as an excuse to not go to the gym. It's like the excuse that I can't go to the gym if I want to or not because it's just, I mean, it took me like half an hour to walk back to my apartment today when it normally takes me like maybe 10 minutes at most, more like five. So that's my current walking state. 
Um, I think the only thing I really had to talk about this week, and I told myself I wasn't going to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it, I guess, and I'm probably going to ramble, and it just comes from, I got a lot of messages this week, um, a lot of stuff on Facebook, and I posted a status on Facebook about it, too, um, what I had was not a stall. You can look up many definitions of a stall, and there are two things that I find common with a lot of definitions of a stall. One is a time parameter, and two is a consistent dieting parameter. Um, of these two things, you know, there are definitely variations, but those are the things that I find most consistent among definitions of um, stalls. And one, not losing for two days or two weeks is not meeting of most of the time parameters normally they're like two months or three months um there's a bunch of definitions though but like none of them are going to be like oh two days you're at a stall you should work on that um and then the other part of that is what i just summed up as like consistent dieting there's normally something attached to that definition of stall about you're eating and exercise and your attitude toward um, weight loss, and if you're not act basically, if you're not 100% actively pursuing weight loss, and you're not losing, it's not a stall. It's a reflection of what you're eating and what you're doing with your body, or a lack of what you're doing with your body. Um, so, in those two respects, I didn't meet either of those criteria. Um, no, I didn't lose weight for two weeks, but that's different than two months or three months, or whatever definition you're going to use, but two weeks is not a stall. Um, and then also, I can look back on those weeks and tell you I wasn't 100% good with my eating or my exercise in any respect. Um, so, you know, I'd probably give myself a 50 or 60%. So in that respect, I don't meet that criteria either. It was just my body having a reaction to exactly what I was doing to it. And that's a separate issue from a stall. A stall is more of I'm doing everything right, I'm eating right, I'm exercising, you know, I'm doing the things that on paper sound right and my body's still not reacting to it. That's how I understand a stall. I'm sure there's a ton of other opinions out there. Actually, I know there's a ton of other opinions out there, but at least uh, I'm pretty sure most people will agree with me that everybody needs to stop freaking out about being at a stall after like a day or two days or a week or two weeks because even if that chill. So anyways, I think that's at least one thing I've done right on this journey. I was not freaking out over the fact that I hadn't lost weight. Was I happy about it? No. But I wasn't freaking out about it. So everybody, just chill. Um, so that's my uh, community service message for this week. Everybody chill. Um, so I don't think I have anything else to talk about at all. I really want to get back to the gym. And now my back's just like, nope, F you. Um, and eating pretty good. Better than it has been. I just need Matt to come live here so that I have motivation to always come back to my apartment and cook a healthy meal instead of grabbing something on campus. But anyways, um, so I guess that's it for this week, and at the very least, I will talk to you all next Tuesday. Have a great week, guys.